I'm Ms. Berenice Pan, and I'm a face manager for Chicago Public Schools supporting Network 4. Today I'm bringing you a short tutorial on Google Classroom. So let's get started. If you guys can see on my screen, I'm already inside the Google Classroom for this student, and this student has two classes. Today we're going to concentrate on this class, so we're going to select it by clicking on it. This brings us to the main page of the class, and here you guys can see the different announcements that the teacher has posted, and you can also see upcoming homeworks and homeworks that are due. These are due tomorrow. But for this tutorial, we're going to concentrate on this section up here, that's classwork. So we're going to select that, and this brings us to the um, different topics that this class has. For instance, the student has math, has English, science, social studies, and social and emotional. So if you move through the page, you can see that it has math and it has a listing of all the different homeworks. It has ELA and it has all the listings and so forth and so on. Today we're going to concentrate on math. One of the things that you can see is that the listings, this one on the top is in blue and the rest are in gray. What does that mean? Gray means that the student already turned in that homework, and blue means that it still has to be to turn it. So let's click on this first homework that's in blue. We click on it, and we get this drop-down menu that shows a brief summary of the homework. So we're actually going to click down here where it says View Assignment, and this takes us to another page where we're just going to focus on this specific homework. Here you can see the different instructions that the teacher has put in place for this uh, work. He also has included a document. In this case, it's a PDF document. So PDF document is a document that you can manipulate, so you can't write on it. So for this example, the student is probably going to have to print it and write on it, take pictures, and upload those pictures to the teacher to show that he did his work. So how do we do that, right? You, after you have printed it, the student has completed the work, you've taken those pictures, you're going to go here where it says Add or Create, and in this button, you can upload the pictures to the teacher or you can create a document. So for instance, if in English they're asking the students to, to write an essay, they can click here and create a Google document and that document can be shared with the teacher. So if we click on it now, you see we get this drop down menu with different options. The pictures that you have taken, they're probably going to be on, you can place them on your Google Drive or you can attach different files from your computer. So those are two options that you can do if you're uploading pictures. If you, or if you're uploading documents and you have them saved on your Google Drive or in your computer. Here, if you're creating a document like a Google Doc or Slides, Sheets, you can click on those and that will take you to that platform to work on those documents. Once you added or created documents, you're going to turn in your homework, and that's this blue button here. It says turn in. Make sure your student has completed, has checked their work, and is ready to submit. Once you submit this button, or click on this button, you can access those documents again. So they're already in possession of the teacher. So make sure that you guys check your work before you turn it in. Before you turn it in, if you have questions, you're not sure, you can send your teacher questions. So if you see this box down here, it says private comments, your student can actually write a question here and you see this blue triangle turns on, it turns blue. Once you finish typing your question, you click on this blue triangle and the message goes directly to the teacher. So once the teacher reads it, they will respond to the student and the student will get an email. So check your Gmail account with the answer. So this was a very short tutorial on what Google Classroom looks like, how you guys can view the work, how do you know if it's turn, been turned in, if you still need to do it, how do you turn in the assignment, and how do you upload or create documents, and comment to teachers if you have questions. Hope this is helpful, and check back with us because we're going to be creating more tutorials. Thank you.